So I'm Adam Lindemann, and this is my gallery here at 55 Great Jones in New York City. And um, I have ridden motorcycles probably since I was 22. Actually, I had a dirt bike in my teens, but um, my mother wouldn't allow me to have a motorcycle. So of course, as soon as I got out of college, the first thing I did was buy that BMW R80. Um, and uh, every turn of the wheel made me have that rebellious feel, that feel of excitement. And uh, I love motorcycles more than cars, more than anything. Um, I always loved the vintage bike. I always loved the beauty of it and, you know, that whole, like, Marlon Brando feel about the rock and roll cafe racer look. And um, I think that motorcycles are incredibly stylish. Cars are cool, cars are um, desirable, cars are rare, cars are special, but anybody can drive a car. To drive a motorcycle is a whole other thing. And so many people are like, oh, I won't go there, can't ride a motorcycle, of course, only wanted motorcycles. Um, and I've had so much great fun with my bikes. Um, I once drove across Turkey on GSs uh, with Tom Krenz, the former head of the Guggenheim, and I've done that Aspen to Grand Junction, Colorado, and I rode uh, all the way from uh, San Diego to Baja at like 140 miles an hour. Um, I did Corsica, Sardinia. I've had so much fun on motorcycles, but when it comes to like my desire to own, it only relates to mostly the vintage bike. And in particular, I like bikes that have singular identity. So everything that was in my collection had to be singular in some way, meaning you just can't replace it. It wasn't just an example, it was the example, which is kind of the way I think about art. Um, I'm always looking for a singular situation where it's not reproducible, it's not replaceable. Somehow it's special. And so every motorcycle that is in this auction has some singular meaning to me. So whether it's the 750 Super Sport, if it hadn't been rock and roll photographer Guy Webster's bike, I wouldn't have bought it. If it were a great, perfectly restored example, shiny Cadillac, not for me. Um, same with the 750 Sport. The MV Agusta was always my dream. The drum brake front is like one of the most beautiful and exotic bikes ever made in Italy. The Laverda is like the ultimate Laverda. It's the first year, it's the original, it's the unfindable, it's a holy grail of originality. Because, you know, a lot of people want things restored, but they can only be original once. And the hardest thing to find as a collector is the original machine. You know, after that, you restore it, well, it's just about how good, you know, how good is the restoration? How shiny is your chrome? How perfect? Is this the right spoke? Like, you know, I, I like, period modifications as well, if they were done in the 60s and 70s. Like that Norton, that Dunstall Norton was like made for Zach Reynolds. Zach Reynolds was this crazy guy who inherited tobacco fortune, collected all these motorcycles and killed himself in a plane crash. I mean, he's an insane person, but he's a total character. And the fact that he flew all the way to London to get this Dunstall delivered to him by Paul and made for him by Paul Dunstall, it's a wonderful story. So. Each one of the motorcycles has a kind of like story for me. The Talayo Rosso, I just bought 30 years ago in a classic bike magazine. I just thought it was a cool goosey green with red frame. I had no idea that I was buying the most original Talayo Rosso possibly in the world. Who knows? But um, certainly we've never seen a better one. So that's my sort of interest in the motorcycles is the sound, the feel, the smell, uh, and the obsolescence. So I am kind of obsessed by obsolescence. Uh, I like the way things age and I like the way they feel like they're from another era. Like in a way, when I ride a 71 Guzzi or a 65 Norton or when I used to ride my 36 Bruff Superior, like everything I have I ride because I'm interested in the time capsule. I'm not just interested in the object itself, I'm interested in the sound and the smell and the noise, and I'm interested in going back in time. So each one of these machines takes me back in time. And so when I'm riding, when I'm sitting on it, I just feel like I'm in another era, I'm in another place. And so it sort of does something to my body in a way that sitting in any car, even if it's a Spider California, 
can't do for me. 